In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can configure a hybrid electric vehicle model for hardware in the loop testing. Our hybrid electric vehicle model contains mechanical and electrical components as well as a control system. We have been simulating this on our desktop computer and are happy with the performance of our design. Now we wish to test the embedded controller using hardware in the loop testing. To do this, we're going to need to configure the solvers in the model so that it will run in real time with a fixed step solver. To do this, we'll use the Simscape local solvers. We're going to configure our solver so that the implicit solver is only used on the numerically stiff portions. This will minimize the amount of computation done per time step and make it likely that the model will run in real time. We'll configure the model, generate code, and run the model on real time hardware. And in the end, we'll see that the model executes in real time with no overruns and produces nearly the same results as our reference results with the variable step solver. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. We have a vehicle model modeled in some driveline, including tires, longitudinal vehicle dynamics, and gears. The electrical system is modeled in Simscape, including a battery model and a custom ultracapacitor model, as well as using Sim Electronics for the motor and generator. This is connected to a control system, which includes logic modeled in state flow and control algorithms modeled using Simulink. We now need to configure this model so that it can run with a fixed step solver and in real time. We'll use this MATLAB script to execute the steps. First, we're going to run this model using a variable step solver. You can see we're using ODE23T. We need these results so that we can verify that after we have configured it to run with a fixed step solver, that we know that the results are accurate. This drive cycle is complete and we're going to save these results on a plot so that we can compare that to the results with a fixed step solver. Now we're going to configure the model to run with a fixed step solver and rerun the simulation. When we look at the model you can see we have configured the global solver to be ODE1 and we have enabled the Simscape local solver which is running with a different solver, an implicit solver and configured to run with fixed cost meaning uh, limiting the number of computations per time step or fixing the amount. We can see that the simulation is complete We'll add those results to our plot and compare. We can see that the results are extremely close. If we zoom in, we can see that there are tiny differences, but these are acceptable for us, and we can continue to the next step to try and run it in real time. I'm going to shorten the simulation time to 30 seconds so that we don't have to wait quite, lo quite so long to get the results. So at this point, I'm going to generate C code for the entire model and download it to the real-time target. We'll see in the command window the messages. Here you can see the real-time target, and here is the monitor that will show the results of the simulation in real time. We can see that the code has been generated and is downloaded to the target. We will now configure the model to run in external mode so that we can see the results on this scope, and we will now start the simulation running on the real-time target. So you can see on the scope that there is some of the results are being displayed there and on this monitor you can see the results from the real-time target which is running XPC. At around 10 seconds or so we should see the vehicle start to accelerate. Here you go. You can see this is the vehicle speed being plotted on the monitor. It will accelerate up to a certain level, hold that speed, and then decelerate back down to zero kilometers per hour. Now the vehicle is starting to decelerate. You can see it on the monitor and on the scope. The simulation is complete. We've made it to the end of this portion of the test cycle without having an overrun. I'll now upload the results from the real-time target and add it to our plot. You can see that we have plotted the first 30 seconds over the results we had from the variable step solver and the desktop simulation with fixed step solver and we can see that the results again match the reference results very closely and are exactly the same as the fixed step tests we did on our desktop. So we can see that we have configured this model to run in real time and it did run in real time without having any overruns. In this demonstration you have seen how we could configure a hybrid electric vehicle model for hardware in the loop testing.